The Wall Street Journal says that Bank of America is preparing to cut 2,000 more jobs worldwide. That's on top of 30,000 jobs announced last year. But there were signs today of improvement in the overall U.S. economy as well. And Rebecca Jarvis has more about these mixed economic signals. While the U.S. economy is adding jobs, it's at the slowest pace in five months. <laughs> Business investment and construction spending are also weak. The unemployment path is uh, not improving as quickly as I think that it should. So. Chicago Federal Reserve President Charles Evans says this economic soft patch probably won't deepen, but things aren't going to improve quickly either. What we need to do is to get people to uh, increase their entrepreneurial activities so that there's hiring that would increase demand and uh, things would pick up uh, much better if they did. Nearly 70 percent of the nation's biggest companies reported better profits than expected in the first quarter of this year. But much of those gains are due to cost cuts. Big business is still very worried a deepening recession in Europe could spread here. Economist Richard Bernstein. You know, I think most Americans view our economy with kind of blinders on and they think that we're the only economy that's got trouble and they don't realize that Europe and Asia and even the emerging markets have a lot of trouble that's bubbling up mm -hmm. and, and so we're kind of the best house on a bad block. More than one million jobs have been created in the past five months, but that's being partially offset by job cuts in state and local governments. We actually all probably all want long recoveries. What you don't want is a long recovery that isn't really a recovery. And how that recovery goes, Scott, is really dependent on two things. It's what Congress does at the end of this year about the expiring tax cuts as well as budget cuts that are set to take effect. All the business people and economists I speak to talk about that as a fiscal cliff and issue number one for the economy. Rebecca, thank you very much.